Welcome back, Bastoneers. Last time we worked on this little brick house behind us and the waterfront behind it. You can go check it out. Uh, just real quick, just to remind us, yeah, all the way down. Looks like this on both sides. It's looking so good. Morgan built this guy up real quick. Man, he is a machine right now. Can't even keep up with him. It's crazy. Um, he's online right now. You see up there in the, the mini map up here. He's building something. Something new. Cool. But uh, since the last time we were together, me, Old Gray Man, Callus, and Fix It had a late night, and we were just chatting about all sorts of topics. You know, we just love talking to each other, get a little therapy session, you know, do a little Minecraft late at night and talk about any topic that comes to mind. And uh, we started building this guy. Now, it was pretty late, and we were mostly interested in talking, so I don't think any of us got really a lot of building done, but um, a little bit here. So we just got, you know, your basic, another, you know, not not a giant house, just a, just a nice little guy here. You know, just filling in the area around the Col Coliseum. We just got like a duplex. These two houses are connected. I'm going to put a basement, I think, on this one. We're going to come down. Maybe we can do that together. But yeah, so, you know, maybe we'll do an interior. Maybe we'll do the interior of this guy together. Notice it's not very big, you know, just a little guy. Maybe we'll make this like a little pub or something, like just a little, little neighborhood bar, you know, nothing big, just a little guy. You know, on this guy, maybe we'll put, you know, like a like a second story, put some dormers on this one and, and then a little basement. So yeah, let's let's gather some materials and get that rolling. Awesome, so we got some materials here. I got some on my shulker boxes just out. These are the materials I think I need. I got my, it says interior B, but it's mostly just terracotta. I got some interior boxes, my wood boxes, uh, colors, a toolbox, glass, and just nature stuff, you know, just so for some potted plants or something. If we need something else, we can go back to storage and get it. I just think I can, uh, I think I'll just talk through some of my thinkings here. So I got this basement and I also put another basement entrance over here on this side. So first thing we're going to need to do is put in a floor down here. Now a floor in the basement could be anything. I think I'm just going to make it out of wood. Um, I don't know if I'm even going to replace the, the grass over here. Maybe I'll replace the grass with, with some stone. Let's go get some wood and some stone. What kind of wood do we want the basement to be out of? Now I think... Yeah, just because it's in the basement anyway, we're just going to use some spruce. The spruce is the cheapest, you know, easiest to get, I think, easiest to farm. So we're going to lay down our crafting table and stone cutter. And we're just going to make some, some more slabs out of this and see how far this gets us here. And uh, we'll put down the spruce floor inside of the basement down here and uh, and see see how we like it from there. We have our basement floor put in and we just did stone walls, just did a texture or whatever. So now we're looking at where do we want to split this wall up? Probably where the where the floor does anyway. So we're just going to put a wall right here. Let's do that. Let's just do it out of stripped spruce. Let's just go horizontal strip spruce like that and we'll strip it saying like, hey, that's the divider. So now we have two different basements, one on this side one on the other side now we need uh some stairs going down so we just need you know one or two stairs here to make it feel natural going down and then a door you know double door there and on the other side let's see we need this one's going to be a little bit more difficult because uh it's got a little bit more more elevation change um i think i want going into until the door outside of the door we want stone stairs let's go see what stone stairs we have and we got this kind of stone stair. Ooh, some some mossy cobble. That'd be cool. And some regular stone. Let's do that. I think that will be enough. So we go one here, one here. Maybe we have a landing. Is this far enough under? Yep, that's far enough under right there. We can get in. So just from that, now we can just lay down our little entryway right here. You know. Oh, the connected textures make it so you got, can't have dirt just hanging out around. So let's go that. And I think we'll put a door there and then we'll have a little staircase coming up. So let's go ahead and connect all of these. Bring that down. Bring this down a little bit like that. And then we can put our door right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think we might have to go down one more. Let's go down one more. Da, 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 right there. 
we can have our entrance here. I think that's how we want it. Let's get a door. What kind of doors do I already have? Acacia doors. That works for me. Come back. Let's throw down Acacia door here. Bring that down one. There we go. So we got an Acacia door. And then we can just do one slab there and it works. So let's Oop, there we go. Let's get that light back down so that it's not spawning mobs. So there we go. Put some of these in here. There we go. So now we have two basements. This one is completed with doors. Let's go do the door for the other one. Ooh, that's ugly. But uh, let's fix up this dirt real quick. Want these guys down here. There we go. Oh, the connected textures again. There we go. So we got a, a tight little little guy. Oh. Yeah, let's we're getting rid of our things here there we go wait let's go do the other one real quick more mobs come out and get us so again we just uh we just want a little staircase coming down and we need two doors boom boom let's replace this grass with stone brick just so that it looks like it's supposed to be there we keep this tree here this is kind of like a little hidden one we'll probably put a light right here Coming down. And then we got another another little uh, entranceway here. Nice. So we got our two basements all done. Um, one on this side, one on the other side. Now we just need to decide what exactly we want these to be. I think I want this one to just be like a pub on this left side. You know, just like a little bar area. Ooh, it's got upstairs potential. Mm. Oh, it's got a back door too. Put this down for the back door. Yeah, I still want this to be a pub. Pub, maybe we could have a chandelier or something. And this one, what should we do? A little restaurant. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Let me go sleep, and then we'll uh, get some interior work going. So this first one right here, close to us, this is just pretty little. We're just gonna make it into a, a little pub, little bar, right? So we're gonna have a little bar right here, just some tables and chairs. Pretty much it. So bar, I was thinking. Uh, we do with pistons. We're not going to extend them or anything. We're just going to set them down as the bar tabletop. So let's say, you know, if we walk in, we want this to be the bar right here. Boop, boop. And we'll go to there. So we're going to have two bar stools. Let's put some, some seating for our bar now. What do we want to do for seating? We got dark oak. So we could do spruce. It's pretty easy. Do for seats. We could do acacia. Let's take both acacia and spruce, see which one we like better. We come over here, boink. I got to, oh, I'm gonna put the acacia one next to the spruce wall. You know, that's okay. That's all right, that's, you know, which one do we like better? Eh, I don't know, I'm gonna leave them both. Uh, we need some tables, so for tables in the Vast and Texture Pack, we have scaffolding is spruce colored instead of whatever color it normally is, you know? Uh, we we retextured it so it looks like this. Put a table there, we can put a table here. It kinda looks like all, all the tables we're gonna be able to fit in here. Looks like we're going spruce for stairs. I don't like the spruce next to the spruce on the wall, so I think I'm gonna change it out for acacia. Let's go get some acacia, make some acacia stairs. Two, 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 two. How many of these do I need? That many, I guess. We fit more than 12 seats in here, maybe. We'll see, we'll change this one out for an acacia. Can I just go like this? Make it a, make it a straight straight bench, I don't know. Put one here, put one there and there. Maybe not there. I kinda want this one to have four around it and then that one can just be a two. Ooh, that's not good. See how it connects. Probably shouldn't do that. Uh, some figure that out. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, not not too much of a bar, right? It's pretty pretty simple. Um, well, I kind of have an idea. Can we go like this? This way. Oh, break that one, and we can go here and here, and then let's get some trapdoor spruce trapdoors. Got some right here. Nice. And we're going to do like a little bar top right here against the window. Maybe that's what we'll do here instead of these. I'll fix that one. 
Uh, go here and here. And we got the bar top against the window too. That's kind of cool. Um, we need to figure out something to do with this corner. Think. What do you think? Do like another like mini bar back here. I don't know. Something like that. These are too close together. Let's get rid of this one. See this one. This one. Gotta go fix that. Let's go fix that, and then we'll figure out what else we can do. There we go. It's all fixed. I took out a couple of these. I think it just looks better. Having the whole bench is a little bit crowded. I did remember. I think we're going to do something like this. And I'll get another one and go this way. We just have a little like L-shaped bench here. You know, instead of the, the pistons for the tabletop, we just, in the vast and brown beds are like, kind of look like a bench like this. So we'll just put those back there. And now we just need to maybe do some lighting. Ooh, I have an idea. Can we get underneath here? Oh well, yeah, we're going to make a little, uh, little secret entrance to the the downstairs that'd be cool right all all pubs have a secret entryway right i think so i'm pretty sure i heard that somewhere so let's get some trap doors oh i have some spruce trap doors i think that'd be okay i want to put them like this and like this so we can open them up then we need some stairs going down oh i do got some stairs tonight stairs are not gonna go with Break this one out, right? Yeesh. Perfect. Boop, boop. Just a little secret entrance. You can close that and then you can get down. Nice. Perfect. So, all pubs have a little secret entrance. Of course. Of course they do. Let's, uh, let's get some decorations in here now. Where's my interior box? This one? Uh, let's see. We need, obviously, some flower pots. And some brown mushrooms. Ooh, we're almost out of brown mushrooms. We might have to go get some more of those. Oh, uh, we get a maybe a cauldron, um, and some paintings, item frames. Sure, nah, no item frames today. Let's start with that. Let's go, uh, flower pot, boop, and flower pot, boop. This is why we like the flower pots because they turn into cups. Perfect. It looks like we're drinking over here. We're gonna put an empty one over here. Maybe empty one on this table. There we go. Perfect. So, you know, not too busy. Now we just need a couple lights. Light fixtures. I don't know. This The ceilings are so low. I don't think... Oh, we can't even... They're slabs. Uh, are these slabs? We can't even really, like, hang lights too high, right? Because it's already so low. So, you know, super easy. We just go boop, 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 boop. That one we don't want. Ooh, there's an upstairs up there. And maybe a couple over, a couple, one or two over the bar. I misplaced those. Yeah, let's go here and here. There we go. That's better, and that that's pretty much it right here. Maybe we'll put a, a trap door on right here. So that we can open and close it, you know. Bartender goes back there. That'd be cool, right? And there we go, just a nice little pub. Oh, we got some paintings. Um, paint right there. Oh, that works, sure. Uh, uh, you know, sure, that one, cool. Uh, yep, uh, put one right here. Oh, that's a good one. And one more back here. Sure, that works. We got the Jim Wayne name tag, and that's it. You know, like, nothing crazy. Super easy, not too complicated. And we got ourselves a little bar, drinking area. You know, maybe they serve some chili cheese fries or something. I don't know. Restaurant and bar. Cool. Now for the other side of the duplex here, I think we just want to put a little, kind of the same, more or less the same thing, just focus a little bit more on a restaurant type of feel instead of a bar type of feel. So um, I did put in these staircases so we can get up here to the top. We have like a little apartment on top of the restaurant up here. Um, and yeah. The inside in here, I think we just need to bring, you know, some of these logs coming up to the top just so it feels a little bit finished, you know, without those logs going up. Feels a little bit incomplete. Feels like somebody forgot something, you know. Minecraft, uh, the Minecraft physics, you know. So let's just finish up this little bit and then I will put in kind of a restaurant, more or less the same idea we did the other side. 
we'll see where we get to and there you go this one the restaurant more or less the same thing i only got like two tables in this restaurant but it's more about filling the space and not losing that immersion as you walk around the city you know we just got a little kitchen in the back got some garbage cans got some you know tables for people to sit i guess and then i don't think we're gonna do anything up here it's just kind of you know there if you want it uh, i'm just gonna leave it like that because you you wouldn't ever really see it so the inside of that at least we have some beds right here and right here some brown benches or brown beds uh, you can you know sleep in so we don't really need to make a bedroom up there it's kind of waste of time we're trying to build up the city you know so yeah that's 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 pretty much it that's my thinking of how i put in some of these interiors how i do the the bar slash restaurant pub thing uh down here we could probably either put like a living space or you know just a storage space like we did in the other one so yeah that's kind of what we do maybe we'll put some dormers up here that's a good idea let's put some dormers up there and then we'll be back i forgot let's put some bamboo on these tables that'd be cool right just a couple of these you know break up the wood go out some bamboo got some green going Ooh. Now let's go do those dormers. So I got, I just got some stairs. These ones are gonna be kind of weird because this roof line's so weird. Let's check out the roof line right here. This is the building we're building on. Always weird shapes. You know, I always just put down super weird shapes and see if I can build on them. So we got a pretty weird shape going here. Let's see if we can just put in a dormer like here. Go ahead, chop that. Three. Most of the time we just go three wide. Let's see if we can do. You know, see if we can connect some of those up. We'll go to the here and to here. You know, they're always so weird. And I kind of forget how to do the dormers, like, every time I do them. Let's just make these come out. So it looks like, actually, we want to get rid of this guy and this guy. Just put in some of these, like that, good. And then let's grab... Oop. Look. Like that, there we go. Then we can come. I want to go this way. My stair piece. Wink. Oh, uh, click. Good. So then we can go one of these and make it go up. Like that. Mm, too much. Break that top one off. That'll be fine. And now let's just put in some glass. Oh. Oop, oop. Three tall. So I go like that. There we go. Let's just make it two tall. It keeps it like that. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, I think I make that jump over there so we can check it out. And eh, nope. Fail. You know, just, you know, break up that roof line. It's just getting too plain. Let's go put one over here, too. Let's do the exact same thing over there. Just to break up that roof. So, maybe not the exact same, but pretty close to the same. Um, one, two, three. Cool. Then this one. These go like this, up two, up two, probably like that. Ouch. Guy will need to come out as well, which means we need to break that one. Want to do three this way. One of those, and put in some glass. Make it too tall, just like the other one. Let's see if that looks okay from down here. Um, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I like them. Um, you know, just something to break up the roof line. Let's go check it out from above. We can do a little fly. And Morgaran's killing it. He's building some more. He's online. Let's see if we can see it from this roof. Yeah. Yeah, those are the dormers we just put in. Totally fine. They work. Break up that roof. Make it not so monotonous. Give it a little texture, a little detail. A little bit of interest. That's what we're looking for, right? If we really wanted to be cool, we'd probably put one right there, but that's super funky. We should make one of those towers, but we're not going to. Move on. I think that would be a completed build, I think, for us. You know, we're not getting too crazy fancy. We just need something to make it feel like a city. So, yeah, thanks for joining me in my little thought process. I wanted to show you a little bit how I think and uh, how, I, how I work through a building, especially a weird one like this. Like, yeah, it's kind of funky shaped. It's not perfectly square. It's not symmetrical. And that's not the point, you know? The point is just to, you know, make a make a city. Make it feel like and look like a city as you walk through it. So you don't lose that immersion, you know? So thanks for joining me on this adventure. Uh, thanks for helping me build this house. We'll see you next time. Peace.
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all those things. The, all the links are in the, the description. Check them out. Oh yeah, follow all my friends too. Morgan's online right now. Go follow him. He's been killing it. See ya.